Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing a product review. Going to be talking about skincare. Okay guys, as you know, my favorite of favorite things to talk about in this world, other than hair care, is obviously skincare. Love, 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 love skincare. And oh, my cat's distracting me again. As soon as I start filming, I don't know. I don't know. He knows. He knows. But okay, I'll try to stay focused. Okay, so let's get to it though. This is the Vatacost brand 100% pure rosehip seed oil. And this comes like one fluid ounce uh, amber colored, UV colored amber glass bottle. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, I love this stuff. I really do. First off, I have been using rosehip seed oil forever. I don't know. It's been a few years. It's been uh, a long while. I really love it. I love it for skincare. And I do like to um, also use it uh, as a scalp massage. Now, I don't do a scalp massage as often with it as I use it for skincare. Mostly skincare. Love, love, love it. So if you're looking for a possibly an alternative to things like Retin-A, um, something that's not as strong as prescription strength retinoids, uh, Renova, Retina-A, anything like that. If you're looking for something that's not that full-blown prescription strength, something that is more um, dumbed down, so to speak, try rosehip seed oil. Very good stuff. So if you want that effect with your skincare routine regime of ret retinoids, um, vitamin A, you know, all that good stuff that's for skincare, this to help wrinkles, is to help discoloration, is to help even out your skin tone, to rejuvenate and just breathe life back into your skin. Definitely check this out. See, I personally, I'm just not, um, I'm not ready for it. I'm not at that level. I'm not prepared for that. I am not um, seeking out things that are prescription strength like Retina-A or Renova and other stuff like that. Now, if, if you do and that's part of your skin care routine, I think that's great. Me personally, I just, I, I'm not going in that direction. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm not there. I know that I know so many of my clients, so many of my patients at work and my clients and, and friends as well, they um, are into Juvederm, uh, Botox, uh, Restylane, you know, Retin-A, Renova, whatever, and um, all that stuff, you know? So, but me personally, I stay with stuff like this, you know what I mean? And for me, it's working great. I've been using it for a few years now. I have a very even skin tone. I have a uh, very smoothed out skin. I don't have any fine lines or wrinkles, but I feel like I have not you know, got to that level yet either. So who knows, you know what I mean? Honestly, never say never, but for right now I say never. Uh, 20 years down the road, I might be interested in other things that people are currently using now, you know? Um, prescription strength and, you know, things like that. So, but anyhow, I love this. This stuff works great. And I will link it up in the down bar below. Love, love, love it. First off, let me tell you how I use it before I forget, because I talk a lot on here on here on my channel can i talk today maybe not i'm trying i talk a lot about the rosehip seed oil and um i have a little fuzzy fuzz on my lip you guys and when you're trying to talk that is just literally so distracting it's like where do these little fuzzy pieces come from i don't have any sweaters nearby or blankets or anything it's like uh you know okay anyways let's get back on to target on the subject here so what i like to do is i like to cleanse my face wash my face do all that good stuff and then i pat my skin partially dry i leave a lot of the moisture still on my skin from having washed my face so my face is like 50 50 it's 50 percent dry it's 50 percent wet so i just go in with a damp face that's still freshly cleansed and then that's when i definitely 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 apply my rosehip seed oil and then after you do that it kind of it locks it in it seals it in it um it helps absorb into the skin it just works so much better that way if you use it on freshly cleansed skin that is at least 50 percent still you know damp or wet from washing and it just locks right in and then after i do that then i let things penetrate into my skin uh who knows you know 10 11 12 minutes something like that definitely under 15 minutes and then i go in with my night cream or my facial serum 
or you know my eye cream or whatever it is I'm using for the night you know I switch my routine up fairly regularly I will stick with the same routine for a few months then I will change it up and then a few months I will go back to that routine uh, or then I will switch it up entirely different altogether but it just it depends but this is like a foundation product you know what I mean after you have freshly cleansed wash face a little bit damp, a little bit dewy, a little bit wet from washing, and then I apply it. So it's kind of like a foundation or a jump board or a springboard just leaping into other products. I put this on first, then I do my serum, my night cream, uh, you know, my night mask, whatever it is I'm going to use, my sl night sleep mask, uh, you know, a real thick overnight cream that you sleep in. Um, yeah, so I love this stuff. I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give me a big, huge thumbs up. Be sure to give me a big, huge like. As always, like, share, subscribe. Talk to me. Comment down below. Let me know what you're, what you're, how long you've been using rosehip seed oil for, what you love to use it for. Do you do scalp massages with it? Do you love it for skin care? Let me know. I love hearing from each and every one of you guys. You guys are so amazingly beautiful. I love hearing your input as well and sharing our thoughts and comments. And it's just, it's just one big, great party. You know what I mean to me? It's like have a skincare party. Except in real life, I wish I could. Okay, much love. Bye now.